are the waste which is being produced by textile industry what are the characteristics what are the three major thing does the textile industry uses are they use cotton textile is basically from cotton not only pure cotton they will be using there are synthetic cotton generally what is the terminology synthetic artificial synthetic means you go to dictionary there is a terminology called artificial textile industry uses fibers what are they cotton is a fiber what are the fibers they use they use cotton that made from the plants so there are different fibers certain fibers are derived from animal we are wearing jerkins no so that will be taken from some animal it might be from ox a sheep so it is taken and we are wearing that so those fibers are there the textile industry not only uses plant material they are called cotton they use animal fiber also called wool and silk so these are taken from that and synthetic materials such as nylon polyester and acrylics natural fiber is half of the material the textile industry are using synthetic material half of the materials they are using so equally natural and artificial materials are used in textile industry polyester is completely a synthetic material polyesters are 50 percentage are synthetics in bangalore you can use not purely cotton material if you purchase purely cotton material it will shrink easily what are the stages of textile industry is where the waste are generated this is our primary motto textile industry produce waste in each and every process so they are fiber production where they take the cotton fiber processing spinning can you see this this is called spinning spinning is extracting from cotton to yarn so you have to derive from the plant and then you have to make it into a thread that is first part deriving cotton and make it into a thread called first part that is called spinning and yarn preparation fabric production is next thing then bleaching dyeing and finishing i have a image here with that i will explain from textile industry where you get the waste from each of the process you get waste next thing is primarily in this whole process you have a process called wet processing what do you mean by wet processing is wool washing bleaching dyeing printing and finishing in these places you have major of the textile waste so these are the process they derive the cotton from plants then they make it into yarn yarn means it will be in a single thickness now if you want to make it into a different thickness you can make 1 mm 2 mm thickness like that so that is called sized yarn so from this it is taken into sized yarn and weaving weaving means making into different sizes of fabrics after fabric you will be making into wet pre treatments we are getting different colors no everybody is wearing different colors how we are getting this naturally do you get different colors of cotton no cotton is only one color but how much of color you are getting these colors are made from this process what is this process called wet pre treatment what they do is can you see a container here from this container they use pigments this pigments is a chemicals they use under high pressure and temperature two things are there can you see a container here this container consists of high pressure and temperature so by this you get different colors so this is called wet pre treatment so from this treatment only major waste contaminant wastes are being discharged into the environment next thing is dyeing and printing can you see all our dress will be printed with some lines so next after making the pre treatment you will be having dyeing and printing next thing is preparation so it will be tailorly made to each size then it will be taken to retail store and consumer uses so these much process are there from the goods preparation when tailor is making some waste that waste can be used for other purpose waste can be used for some pillows they will make waste pillows they will make waste cots from that they can make products 
but these waste cannot be used for other processes so this we will be discussing now next thing is waste characteristics or waste audit in your syllabus they have mentioned a terminology called audit what do you mean by audit is identifying the key points during manufacturing of textile is called audits this is what i earlier highlighted wet process is the place where you have high amount of pollution voc what do you mean by voc volatile organic compounds this is been generated during this process so due to this majorly the river gets polluted from textile industry will you get effluent waste or will you get emission waste what kind of waste will you get effluent or emission what is effluent effluent or water waste what is emission gaseous or air oriented waste so from textile industry which waste you will be frequently getting effluent more effluent waste will be there less number of emission waste will be there if you are going to an audit for textile industry you should particularly concentrate on effluent rather than emission so certain industries will be having high emission not effluent waste so there is a difference so here the effluents are very high and around 10 mg per meter cube of volatile organic compounds this will harm the aquatic living being and from thermosol process 350 mg per meter cube during the drying process so the process of waste water is major source of textile industry what is bod biological oxidation demand that means you need bacteria who consumes all the waste in a stream is bacteria consumes all the waste so you need number of bacteria in order to take all those waste now can you check how much of milligram of bacteria is required 700 to 2000 milligram of bacteria is required to consume the waste this is high amount chemical oxidation demand called cod in textile industry what waste will be higher either bod or cod cod is higher that means chemical wastes are more higher than organic waste there are two types of waste organic waste and inorganic waste organic waste can be consumed by bacteria inorganic waste bacteria cannot consume imagine you are pouring some paint in a, a place in a floor does bacteria consume that waste you come after 100 days does that waste get reduced no or you spill some curd in a floor you come after 3 days will you find the curd in the same place no who consumes bacteria consumes so certain waste bacteria cannot consume so chemical oxidation demand is 2 to 5 times higher than biological oxidation demand so textile industry produces more chemical waste so that is why can you see the river river is polluted even rishabavadi river is in black color no purely black but river water should not be black who is polluting some textile industry is polluting that is why if river is converted into black color you have to understand that there are high amount of chemical if you pour more chemical imagine uh, you are using green color dye red color then yellow if all the colors are mixed what color of the river you will have black color so rivers will not be in different colors generally during the source only it will be in a single color but if time passes every color mixes and it will be eventually a black color this kind of dye waste are been discharged into river colors will not naturally cure but the biological things will be curing can you see how many types of color we are using for manufacturing textile now dry this wash water contains heavy metals such as what copper and chromium can you recollect chromium extractor in some class i have explained you can you recollect this chromium extractor unit chromium is a hazardous waste so chromium has to be extracted before it is discharged into the river so chromium extractor has to be there 
wool processing wool is a degradable material or non degradable material degradable that is why you can see that wood processing may release bacteria and other pathogens so this can be degradable next thing these are some of the highlightable statistics which you want to know from textile industry if you want to manufacture 1 kg of cotton cotton will be much higher volume no since it has very less density much higher volume so for manufacturing 1 kg of cotton it emits 7 kg of co2 to the environment imagine this is equivalent to driving 11.3 km of vehicle pollution is been emitted from manufacturing cotton we should not think only vehicles pollute the environment not only vehicles industry pollutes seven times more higher than the vehicles i recently gone through one documentary video which is from china before 2010 china was the highest air polluted place by bringing the industrial norms this i want to highlight since delhi has this kind of problem delhi is under severe air pollution now if government is not imposing any activity textile activity they are not going to reduce any change currently what they are doing they are stopping all the vehicles yes or no no vehicles from other states has to enter the delhi currently there is a rule now this has to be done industry should also make necessary measures next thing for manufacturing one cotton t-shirt how much of water they consume 2650 liters of water just for manufacturing one t-shirt this is how much of water they consume which is equal to 22 bath tubs they use and according to world bank 17 to 20 percentage of water pollution is been created by textile industry now why in your syllabus first they have provide textile industry means the water is highly polluted around 70 to 20 percentage of overall water pollution is been occurred due to which industry textile industry alone then 160 grams of pesticides and herbicides this has been sprayed for cotton plants the cotton plant should not get bacteria or virus effects so that they spray pesticides so around 160 gram of pesticides they use these are the statistics these things has to be known to us for textile waste now in waste waters what are the waste it has mercury arsenic and copper these are hazardous waste mercury is highly hazardous some of the air emissions are there which includes oil mist acid vapor odor and boil exhaust etc so these waste the textile industry produce this comes under audit when doing an audit you should check this parameter limit next thing pollution prevention what textile industry can do to reduce pollution which we will be discussing they should focus on reduction of water use how much water they consume for making one t-shirt 2700 plus liters of water they consume textile industry basically has to reduce water use for efficient processing of chemicals i think they should do this second thing is type and weight of fabric they should use less weight fabrics the type and weight of fabric may reduce the waste by 10 to 20 percentage the fabric should be lighter in weight avoid non degradable less degradable surfactants what is surfactants surfactants are chemicals this surfactants they use for washing and scouring purpose so that should be lesser next some of the highlightable chemicals which i have highlighted should be lesser next thing can you see this kind of um, process if you go to shopping malls they will make this kind of printing in a t-shirt or in a cup they will make this kind of images have you seen this this is a latest technology this has less number of water consumption this technology is called synthetic technology where 250 to 2 liters per kg of materials is been consumed when you are changing the printing technology what kind of technology is this is water based printing pad batch dyeing so this is called pad batch dyeing process so this process 
how much of water it saves 80 percentage of energy requirement and 90 percentage of water consumption when making dyes you should not use synthetic dyes you should use batch dyeing process this kind of dyeing process you have to follow in order to reduce the waste from a textile industry what is the difficult process is converting the color into colorless you are using colors for fabrics no the process of converting this colored waste into process of pure water is costly and when you are doing this you will be using chlorine based dyes generally you should not use chlorine based dyes when or during the manufacturing process use jet dryers instead of boilers so jet dryers are air based dryers instead of boilers you can use this kind of dryers reuse or recover the chemicals wherever is possible and you can see up to 50 percentage of recovery is possible during the dyeing process what is recovery is can you see this is a boiler they will use high pressure and temperature after using that this will be taking into dyeing machine and the same water will be taken to the waste water tank it should not be letted out immediately what they should do instead there is a heat exchanger in boiler the water will be in severe heat no that severe heat water it should not be discharged into the river immediately what they should do is they should reprocess the same heat has to be collected in hot water tank and again it has to go to dyeing the heat should not get wasted it should be diverted into another process so recovery of heat should be done and improve cleaning and housekeeping in this places purely for water pollution whatever things you can do you can understand from this first one is practice what practice you should do air drying technology instead of what technology boiling technology you should use air drying technology this will reduce major water waste second thing is bleaching bleaching what chemical should not be there chlorine should not be there chlorine type bleaching agent should not be there oxygen based bleaching agent you should use third thing is finishes what kind of finishes you have to use when you purchase new clothes it will be very glossy when you touch the fabric in the shop it will be very glossy but after first and second wash it will reduce the glossiness what they will use is they will use wax they might be harsh chemicals so chemical oriented wax they should not use in textile industry instead of that what kind of finishes they can use b wax b wax is natural then they can use aloe vera or vitamin a these three are natural finishing products for sizing they can use uh, this kind of polyvinyl alcohol what are air pollution air pollutions are much lesser in textile industry even though some air pollution will be there which might be due to boilers when you are heating definitely you will be having air pollution for that what they have to do is they should have material safety data sheet adequate training is required and they should have a chimney in a boiler they should have chimney of at least about 30 meters 30 meter of height chimney should be there in order to reduce the deadliest gases released out of living organism polluted gas should not be consumed by humans or living organisms so that is why what they do is they make long chimneys and it will be directly discharged to the cloud less than 30 meter they should not have the chimneys they should have settling chambers so they should have a filtering methods for filtering hazardous pollutions